That's incredible. This other stuff's nothing to this. This is a modern masterpiece, you know what I mean? Thanks, I'm... And he even used the dip and spoon method. <sighs> That's impressive. It's really easy to learn, so hard to master. You nearly flunked out of school on that one. <laughs> Have you uh, tried the dip and spoon method since then? Yeah. And? Well, I hired an instructor, spent hours on the technique. I finally felt like I got the dip and spoon. He came along to check my work. Didn't even look at it, really. Picked up a brush, just started modifying. Every stroke felt like a knife. Ugh. So my soul was covered in wet paint. I'm sorry. To Practically hear that. gave up on it then, you know, done with the pursuit of art, but I thought I'd give it one more try. So I started attending classes at this maestro studio. Uh huh. And how'd that go? It was all right at first. I thought my art was really starting to develop, you know, become something. Enough to go to a gallery. They rejected it too. Packed up all my paints and brushes then. I was done, put it all in storage. Could not handle rejection, you know? <laughs> well, I'm sorry that happened to you. I can only imagine how an instructor painting over something you worked so hard to, to perfect can feel. It must be like a punch to the gut. Exactly. But the only reason you're painting is to get something hung in a gallery, then you're just going to end up hating what you do. It's, I mean, millions of people will never have their work recognized. But it doesn't mean that it's not any good. <laughs> it doesn't mean that it doesn't have value. There's no point to all that work if you can't get a little recognition. You know, my favorite painting of all time is this one that was gifted to me by a friend a few years back. It's this landscape. It's full of mistakes that any instructor would paint over. But I find myself staring at this painting all the time for hours on end. It's like it demands to be looked at. And its flaws are what really give it its character. It's funny. When the gallery rejected my work, all I could see were the flaws. So I gifted it to a friend. And he raved about it. He wouldn't stop telling me how much he liked it. I thought he was just being nice. One day I went to his house and he had it hanging up. <laughs> I'm sure he's telling you the truth, that he loved it. That painting, it's a reflection of you. And he accepts it for what it is, flaws and all. You know, a million people can look at your painting and it'll never be as much as having that one person that you care about tell you that they love it.